Can you continue to describe how you felt when this occurred? I was feeling violated and I felt like I wasn't, I felt like I had no control. Why did you feel you couldn't say no? Because I feared that that would be, again, offensive. <laughs> Does that mean you had to say yes? I didn't say anything. Did you ever say no to him that night? I did. You said earlier it's hard to remember the order, but do you remember when you said no to him? Do you remember what was happening when you said no? Yes, that was after he tried to take off my underwear for what I think was the second time. What did you think when this was happening? I didn't want any of this. I was so confused. I didn't know what else I could do. I had already said no, and I had already moved his face physically. I didn't know what else he could understand from that. So that happened after you had tried to raise his face up once? Yes. Can you describe what that gesture means to you? It felt like he was going in a circle like this. And where were you feeling this? Other than that, I tried to block out the feeling as much as I could. How did you try to block it out? I looked up at the ceiling, and I looked at the machine above my head, or the pipe, or whatever it was above my head, and I tried to focus on the noise around me. I tried not to think about it because I said, this will be over soon. Just wait it out. And does that mean that it was okay with you? No, it wasn't okay with me. Did you tell him that it hurt? I didn't say anything. Why didn't you say anything? I didn't want to come off as an inexperienced little girl. I didn't want him to laugh at me. I didn't want to offend him. I didn't want to make him angry. Did you want him to think that it was okay? No.